Here we have two polynomials, and all they're asking us is if I have this polynomial and I have this polynomial, what do we get when we subtract those? So when I look at those, um, if you remember, you want to get rid of parentheses. So since there's nothing here that's like a plus, okay? A plus sign out front just means keep everything in there the same. So let's keep it the same. 3x squared y to the fourth, and everything stays the same, minus 2xy to the fifth. Now a minus outside there, that means change all the signs. So see, if right here there was nothing there, it was a plus. Well, this minus is going to say, uh-uh, you were a plus, now you're going to be a minus. So now he's a minus x squared y to the fourth. And he's going to tell this guy, well, you were a plus, well, now you're a minus. So minus 2xy to the third. Now what if that had been a minus to begin with? Then a minus would change that actually to a plus. So the minus outside changes all the signs inside. So it would change, a minus outside would change a plus to a minus and a minus to a plus. Nothing or a plus outside doesn't do anything. You just carry it down. Okay, now your next step is to look at this. And you have 3x squared y to the fourth and you have a x squared y to the fourth. So you have three of these and minus what number goes there? One. So I got 3x squared y to the fourth minus 1x squared y to the fourth. Do I have any other x squared y to the fourth? No. So what's 3 minus 1? 2. We got 2x squared y to the fourth. Now let's look at this one. I got 2xy to the fifth and x, y to the third. That's all I have left. I can't combine them, so just bring them down. That would be my simplified answer.